Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Razer review video and I'll be presenting the Rockwell R1 Razer which I have it right here. If this is your first time, I repeat visit. Thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, you may want to subscribe this channel. If you're looking for more review videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So this is a white chrome plated razor and the model is R1 which we have it right here. Uh, one thing which struck me about this razor is that this brand is actually a Canadian and I haven't seen any other Canadian razor brands. So this is the first time. The packaging looks very nice and simple and this is a very you know uh, simplistic eye catching packaging. And you can see that it's a, a classic razor for the perfect traditional wet ship and if you take a look on the back so it has just some more information uh, it looks like they all also gave five uh, blades uh, which is uh, the their own brand and made of Swedish uh, stainless steel uh, razor blades so this is supposed to be a butterfly opening the easiest and simplest uh, razor opening so we're going to open this up and take a look at it and then later on I'll share with the razor and give you my opinion I'll just start from here looks like it should be uh, you know fairly simple to open okay uh, looks like not that simple so finally I got it and I'll try to slide it out okay so the box is empty and I'll just set it aside and they give additional five blades which is a nice thing so I'll just you know leave this here and this is our razor Rockwell R1 so let me just you know take this out and this part is empty so I'll just set it here so this is what we have uh, the first thing I'm noticing that this is not too heavy and not too light but it has the metal feeling uh, feels cold to touch and it actually the designing here the knurling it just like you know uh, it's, it gives you a very good grip uh, if you're a right hand person but let me just take a look here uh, same with left hand so it looks like you know you can use both hands and you're going to get a very good grip and let me just you know twist this which should open the opening okay so you can see that this is open now and it's very shiny chrome designing or chrome uh, plated razor so I'll just try to close it again and see how smooth it is okay so let's just do it again looks like it's you know working properly and uh, it feels very good to touch but I couldn't tell anything unless I start you know shaving with this so for the next of the video I'm going to you know uh, shave with the razor hello everyone I'm going to start shaving with the Rockwell R1 razor and the shaving cream we have today is the Proraso and I'm just going to be using a synthetic uh, Omega S brush which I have it right here so the first thing I'm just going to you know insert blade in the razor and the blade is going to be the same uh, which is the Rockwell uh, blade these uh, came with the razor and I'm just going to take this out of the paper and then this is a butterfly opening so I'm just going to you know gently open the razor I'm going to insert the blade here so this is the simplest and easiest way to insert blade so you can see that the blade just popped in and I'm just going to uh, close this 
so it likes it looks like you know uh, nicely closed now one thing I'm noticing right away that you know there's nothing comes out on the side of the razor so I don't remember seeing any other razor like this way so it's very safe on this side that you know you're not going to cut your uh, hand or fingers or anything so this these two sides are completely covered and we have the blade coming out on these sides right here so I'll just you know uh, wet this blade a little bit blade on the razor and I'll start uh, foaming the cream so I'm using a stainless steel uh, shaving soap bowl Okay, looks like I might need a little bit of water, just a little bit, not too much. And you can see that. So I don't have heavy foam. Uh, or cream but what I have here you know this should be good enough so I'm just going to apply the shape foam here on my face or leather on my face and I'll just try to do create a little bit foam So let's apply the lather again. It has a very nice classic barbershop smell. I'm happy with the amount of leather, so I'll just leave the foam and wipe my fingers a little bit and then I'm just going to take the Rockwell R1 and start shaving. just to start on this side okay so I'll just you know wash this a little bit now I feel like this is like slightly loose and slippery so it's not you know it's kind of like you know giving me not giving me a good grip so I'll just like you know uh, wipe this a bit and another thing I noticed that uh, this thing is like a little bit moving here so maybe I should tighten up a little bit more okay so now I'll just try again Okay, we'll lose this side now.
So just wash the razor a little bit and then the same thing I'm having difficulty again. It's kind of like you know, it gets too slippery, the handle. Okay, so I'll try to do the upper lip part. And this is the toughest part right under the nose. Feels like mild razor, but you know, let me just finish the shaving, then I'll give you my insights. Okay, so it looks like I had one cut right here, just right here. Okay, so I think one pass is good enough for, you know, the review of the razor. So I'll just, you know, wash it a little bit and just uh, wipe my fingers. And you can see that I have a cut here. So it feels like a mild blade. Uh, the blade is okay. You know, I have no complaint about the blade. But uh, the razor, the difficulty I'm facing, this is kind of getting loose when I'm shaving. And it looks like, you know, it gets like, you know, very slippery. So when you are holding it and you start shaving it and after a few seconds, it gets really slippery and you have to keep like, you know, tightening up. So that's an issue. But in terms of like, you know, the blade, uh, uh, the razor. So I have a feeling that this razor is not really mild, but, but it's on the upper mild to lower aggressive side. But the blade is okay. The blade is a mild blade, uh, but the razor also you have to be very careful uh it gets you know when it's wet and then you have to keep tightening up the, the opening of the butterfly so that sh could be a concern but so far i'm you know not too happy but happy with the product uh but uh, i wouldn't you know make this my regular razor uh, but definitely this is uh you know a very uh inexpensive razor so i cannot complain too much so based on the price and the functionality uh, you know this seems to be working okay but uh, definitely uh, there are some uh, minor issues or some issues which are to look for so that's the review of the rockwell r1 butterfly opening razor this is a very inexpensive razor uh, i think my price was twenty dollars around twenty dollars if i'm not mistaken i kind of uh, don't remember exactly right now but i think it around twenty dollars and this is one of the inexpensive, you know, butterfly uh, razors. And you can see that this is a short handle razor. And it looks like, you know, I'm liking short handle razors more than long handles. It's more maneuver and easy to control. But uh, this uh, razor is, uh, you know, uh, it, it works, but I wouldn't make it my everyday razor. So that was the review of the Butterfly R1. Uh, thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.